Tonight I'm going to touch on the word chastening. Chastening is an action of punishment or a consequence for something done wrong. It is not something done to make one comfortable. In fact, it does the exact opposite. Authority is also associated with it, for it would only make sense if one with higher authority disciplines someone under them. Everyone is under somebody, from the children and their parents to a country and its ruler. Each one is expected to carry out something that is appointed for them to do. When that is not done, something must be done to happen, something must happen to keep order and peace to their own territory or boundary. Therefore, it is done with a meeting and also a responsibility. Chastisement should not be done out of anger. When done with anger, it is merely the flesh letting loose and taking the whole purpose out of a lesson being taught justly. In this text, this is speaking in the parallel of parents disciplining their children and the Lord his sons. We are told not to despise chastening. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth. The Lord loves us, so that is why he chastens us. I can still remember when my dad first fully explained to me that he spanked me because he loved me. Now that sounded just a bit weird to me then. My vision of punishment was love wasn't shown in painfully physical demonstrations. But as it says in the scriptures, when I was a child, I spake as a child, I understood as a child, I thought as a child. It didn't dawn on me until later that all punishment was done in perspective of the future, both in this world and, more importantly, in a spiritual sense. Amen. If you don't obey God, you do not get a good future eternally. Mm -hmm. So chastening is like a tool that must be used to shape one to be used by God effectively. Amen. Chastening is not a thing done without feeling. It definitely hurts the one being punished, but the one doing it is hurt too, in a different way. A father or a mother does not find pleasure in punishing their child. It pains them to see the ones they love endure a consequence, but the desire to make their child one of God succeeds over it. Mm -hmm. It was hard for God to kill his son, but the knowledge of the ones who would be made clean by him after it was what made him endure it. Amen. God is just when he chastises. He always gives according to what is needed, where it is needed, and in what form it is needed in. He also gives us grace to endure it. These things are mercies indeed. Finally, why are we chastened? We are not the perfect image that we will be someday, so we must let go of things to continue on the narrow path. Yep. Many times, chastening has to do with letting things go. It is not pleasant, but it is for a purposeful end. Mm -hmm. The reason of why we are chastened in more specific areas will be shown when we see Christ. Mm -hmm. But the overall reason is so we may learn from wrongdoings. Mm -hmm. However, when we finish our course in Christ, we will re we will be rewarded as a father who is pleased with his sons. Mm -hmm. So let us be glad for chastening. There will come a day when there will be no chastening, and we will be rewarded for enduring with grace. Amen. Amen.